Khloe Kardashian still seems to be having quite a difficult time with her split from Tristan Thompson. And on one hand, we get it. He's the father of True, her daughter, who still isn't even a year old yet, and Khloe thought he'd be her husband one day, too. She thought that if she could work through that first cheating scandal, the one from when she was pregnant, it would all be good and she'd have the family she always wanted. So yes, of course she's still struggling now, a little over a month after she dumped him. But on the other hand, Tristan is a garbage human being and it's hard to imagine not full out celebrating his departure from her life, you know? Last month, Tristan did something with Jordan Woods, Kylie Jenner's former best friend and friend to the Kardashian family as well. Jordan insisted that he just kissed her, but other people have claimed that they've hooked up multiple times. Whatever happened, it was enough for Chloe to finally kick him to the curb, and since then, she's been filling her days with caring for precious little True. That and making cryptic posts about the whole thing on social media. Yesterday, she took that last part a step further by basically publishing an essay on Instagram. She kicked off her piece with a quote that read letting go doesn't mean that you don't care about someone anymore. It's just realizing that the only person you really have control over is yourself. Then she got into her thoughts on the matter. Letting go with love takes great strength, she wrote. We have to learn to stop taking on people's problems as if they are our own. Loving people does not mean we have to carry their burdens and confusions on our back. Sadly, she continued, you can only express your opinion on a situation. You can't want their life more than they do. This is in fact their life to figure out on their own and in their own time. She said that she does believe in time, and that she also believes that timing is everything. You forcing your beliefs and dreams down one's throat is only going to cause resentment and possibly manifest deeper issues, possibly to the point of no return. Here Chloe added another quote. This one that says people say time heals all wounds. I say time heals wounds but scars are left to remind you what you have been through and what you survived. Dot stop shattering our own heart by trying to make a relationship, friend, family partner, work that clearly isn't meant to work, she advised. We have to stop trying to repaint people's colors. We have to learn to believe the love we aren't given. Dot you can't love someone into loving you, she wrote, adding God I wish it were that easy. Dot you can't force someone to be loyal, kind, understanding. You can't force someone to be the person you need them to be, even if it's for their own good. Dot summing up a lesson she's learned the hard way, she told her followers that sometimes the person you want the most is the person you're best without. Dot you have to understand. Some things are supposed to happen in your life, but they just are not meant to be. Dot damn. It took me so many years to understand that, she complained. Dot she then went on about how God always has a plan even if we can't understand it and that even in the darkest of places, our Lord sees his vision. Dot we might not understand it at the moment but I promise you, your future will always bring understanding and clarity of why things didn't work out, she insisted. Don't put your happiness on hold for someone, family, friend, partner, who isn't holding on to you. Dot she finished things up with one more quote, be careful when trying to fix a broken person, for you may cut yourself on their shattered pieces. So she's obviously directing all of this towards Tristan right now. But if you think any of this sounds familiar, it's because this isn't the first time she's posted this. This is actually from a post she originally made in 2016, probably when things were getting hard with Lamar Odom again after his miraculous recovery from his overdose.